The apartment that we are standing in right now is the pinnacle of metropolitan luxury living here in New York City. It has five bedrooms, five bathrooms, two half bathrooms. It's just over 8,000 square feet of living space and was designed by world famous architect and artist Hiroshi Sugimoto. Now I have lived in New York City for the past 10 years, so you are seeing this tour from the perspective of a New Yorker who watched this building being constructed from his 300 square foot studio apartment in the Upper East Side. Now before we jump into this video, I want to give a huge thanks to the listing agents, Noel Burke and Elizabeth Mercedes Burke for letting us tour this one of a kind property. And with that, let's head on up to the 79th floor. Welcome to the apartment. Coming off your private elevator landing, you have dual elevators leading in to this living art piece. Now the whole apartment itself has been done by Hiroshi and it's the only one in the United States. Behind me here, this is a contemporary piece by Hiroshi. There's a projector which drops down from the ceiling, projecting this piece of living art here. If you look down below me, these pavers were brought in from the train station in Kyoto. Everything in here, all the materials were brought in on a huge barge from Japan to essentially make this apartment, like I mentioned, a living piece of art. If you even look into the corner, there's Hiroshi's signature right here etched in gold on these charcoal walls. So right off of this elevator landing, welcome to the entrance of the home. Off to my left here, we actually have your coat room, which pockets into the wall. Here you have coat storage for when you have guests over and you'll notice I'm wearing slippers because traditionally in Japanese homes, you never wear your shoes. And that's actually a practice that most Americans should start incorporating, myself included. This is a 400 year old cedar platform. Traditionally, when you enter a Zen temple, there is a platform such as this, which leads into the temple. And traditionally you step down into a temple. And in this case, we're stepping down into your formal tea room. So right when you enter the home, this is the unwinding room. This is the room to have your guests come, have a nice glass of tea on this raised platform. Looking to the west, we have views of the Hudson River, all your neighbors over on Billionaire's Row, and if you look north, Central Park. Now the first element I wanna talk about in this apartment are the walls. These walls are shikui plaster, and traditionally in Japanese homes, they only have one wall with shikui plaster. This entire apartment has shikui plaster, and here's why. Shikui plaster actually improves the environment inside the apartment by absorbing CO2 and VOC gases and horrible smells. So it naturally kills bacteria, viruses, fungi, and molds due to the high alkalinity. Shikui plaster also prevents dust buildup, so it essentially is cleaning your entire house just on the walls, and it is found throughout the entire apartment. Below us, under our feet, these are thousand-year-old planks of cedar. One thing I wanna point out in this apartment, which unfortunately you can't experience, is the smell. The smell of cedar, personally, I find extremely calming, and the smell of cedar fills this entire room. I mentioned these floors are 1,000 years old, and this wood is actually from the island of Yakushima. And this island has unusually strong winds, which cause these unique knots and bends in the grains of the wood. And it's actually now illegal to harvest wood from the island, as it's now a World Heritage Site. So to have these in your apartment, I can't drive home how rare that is. Something very unique off into the corner here is this acid wash stone. And this is very unique for a few reasons. And number one is it directly ties into the fact that this building is built on that sturdy bedrock of New York. Even in Central Park, you have that exposed bedrock. And I love that balance of nature in this apartment. So off of the tea room, we now enter into the grand salon. And front and center, we have two 65-year-old bonsai trees. Again, bringing those natural elements of Central Park indoors to the space. We also have this oversized Komatsu zone, which was all brought in from Japan, surrounded by these river rocks. Here's the second bonsai tree. And now let's talk about the views. We have five 10 foot by 10 foot windows in this apartment with views to the south and the west. Starting at this window here, you have views of the East River. You can even see the Atlantic Ocean. You have the Chrysler Building. I mean, you can even see to the Verrazano Bridge with Staten Island. Right in front of us here, we have the brand new one Vanderbilt with the Summit Observation Deck, views of the Empire State Building, looking all the way downtown to One World Trade Center. You have your views of the Hudson River, Jersey City, Hoboken. You even have views of Hudson Yards. Making your way around now to the western facing views, we have all of your neighbors over there on Billionaire's Row. And then of course, looking down, we have Central Park with that fall foliage just starting to come in. You can even see 
all the way up into the Hudson River Valley with all the foothills starting up. I am at a loss for words. I've lived in the city for the past 10 years. When I actually moved to the city, I watched this building be constructed and to be in here now, yeah, it's surreal. Bringing it back inside from Central Park off of those Western views behind me, this is a pocket door, which is the back entrance to your tea room. But in front of me here, we have this communal round sitting area. And if you look above, we even have the round light fixture. It's a very communal warm gathering place and you even have the rug below. Everything is circular. Heading over here, we actually have the entrance to that coat room right off the elevator with this pocket door. And in front of us, this is one plank of cedar. I believe this again is 400 year old cedar. And this table seats 12, which guides your view perfectly aligned with one Vanderbilt. The base of this table is made of zinc and off to the Western views, we have your sushi bar. The base of your sushi bar is brass. We have seating for seven. The top here is cedar, but could you imagine having a Michelin star world-class sushi chef come here and just, I mean, I'm a huge fan of sushi and Japan itself, but could you imagine just Oh, the aesthetic here. Uh, the back of here, this is Corian on the countertop. We have Corian on the drawers as well. This is a fully built in, essentially wet bar here. You have your sink, you have ice maker, mini fridge built in, all of your outlets here built into that brass. And then behind me, again, those views of the Hudson River Central Park, Billionaire's Row. And really quick, I wanna talk about the shades in this room. So the blinds are centuries old cedar from Vancouver Island that was sourced from a mill in Virginia. And it's super rare to find old growth yellow cedar, especially in this type of wood, and it's prized for the pure straight graining. The back of these cedar shades are a frosted acrylic, and these screens are motorized with custom controls and integrated into the home system. So here we have the Soji screens up, utilizing those city views so you feel like you are just in the heart of the city. And we currently have them dropping down now, as you can see, it almost looks like a dance in unison, how they're all dropping so peacefully down, optimizing now your sky views. So it truly feels like you are floating in the clouds. I also wanna point out that all the walls in this unit are trimless. So as the building sways, as super tall buildings like this one tend to, you don't feel any of that movement because of the floating walls. But we're gonna now leave this just stunning grand salon and make our way into your chef's kitchen. We now switch to chestnut on the floors and welcome to the gourmet chef's kitchen. There's a ton to break down. We're gonna start with the center island. You have honed granite on the countertops, Corian on the sides and the drawers. You even have Corian here on the cabinetry, your Miele Sweet here, cappuccino maker, wine chiller down below. You have hand pounded aluminum. You can see all the individual pound marks on this aluminum. And I really like how you have the built-in portholes, which is a nice breakup from the 10 by 10 square windows in the space. And your centerpiece in this kitchen is this customized Maltini range. This was actually too large to be brought up, so it was built in this kitchen. This is a commercial grade cooktop. You have four burners here onto the left, your oven down below, and then it is mirrored on the other side, four burners, oven. In between, you have your griddle, and above, again, this hand-pounded aluminum vent. This is commercial commercial grade in this kitchen. Now I want to talk about what's in front of me here. You have one Vanderbilt in your kitchen, the Empire State Building in your kitchen, all the way downtown to One World Trade Center. You have this breakfast bar moment, floating breakfast bar here with seating for three. Just, I, it's, it's hard to put this into words, especially being a New Yorker and being in a place that is this elegant. It's something else. But moving on in the kitchen, here we have more of that hand-pounded aluminum. We have your built-in refrigerator freezer. And then this far back wall, this is your pantry. Uh, again, with those porthole windows, which is a nice breakup from these massive 10 by 10 windows. You honestly need sunglasses in this kitchen. And this is a cool feature, window. So you can actually open this up and get some airflow into this apartment because we are a thousand feet up, so you can't really have windows that are opening that high. So that's a nice little touch. And then here you have your Tawada Tough Stone on this kitchen table. We'll find this throughout the rest of the apartment. But making our way out of the kitchen, another pocket door leading into the connecting hallway. Now below our feet, these are ceramic tiles and the family that inlaid these into this apartment, they actually have been based in Kyoto for, I believe, very close to a thousand years. And they actually did a lot of the work on the temples in Kyoto with the ceramics. So this is again, connecting to your utilities, the back of the elevator. And then I wanna just show you for the layout at the end of this hallway here, this is that grand salon, and you can actually close this off. 
I love how it can be open concept if necessary or closed off. We have two powder rooms here. This is the first one. On the backsplash here, we have Tawada Tough Stone. And this is very unique, you'll see later. It actually turns a very vivid turquoise color when it gets wet and they have it here in the backsplash. We have the built-in mirror with the recessed LED lighting. The sink is a Hinoki Cypress with these individually cut pieces of wood covering this stainless steel sink. Out of this first powder room, additionally, this is service right here, and then one more powder room off to my right. And now this is all a mirror image of that first powder room with the Tawada Tough Stone, the Cypress on the sink. This is a hand-cut cedar door, and if you actually look above us, this was all hand cut as well using one of those big heavy shears. And this was a hand picked stone that was acid washed. And I really love how it ties into the bedrock of New York City. Now the reason you can build skyscrapers this tall here in the city is the bedrock. From this connecting hallway in front of me, this is your family room. Your views to the east. If you look above me, we have this cove ceiling. You can even hear the acoustics in every single room are just spot on. Below us, this carpet is designed to mimic a zen garden, just giving that good energy to the space. You have this whole insect couch that runs the entire length of the space. All the furniture that you see in here was custom built for this space. There is no piece of furniture that you could buy anywhere else. It's all for here. You have your hanging TV with the credenza down below. And now let's just look to the east. You have your views of the East River. It's actually kind of unique. I can see the first apartment I ever lived in when I moved to New York City. It was a 300 square foot studio. I was paying 1200 a month. I was living with an ex, so splitting that. So it was 600 a month. And I would look at this building and just imagine what it was like in here. And now you guys are getting a first look at what it's actually like in one of the highest units in 432 Park Avenue. This is a home office off to the corner here. We're gonna keep this shut because the owners still are in the space and we don't wanna show their personal items. But making our way out of this family room, I wanna now take you to the bedroom wing of this one of a kind penthouse. So off to my right here, this is actually your laundry room. You have four units here and you can actually pocket this off and close the laundry room from the rest of this hallway. Here we have guest bedroom number one. Off to my left, you have your walk-in closet and it's a very minimal space. You have all this custom built-in furniture with the LED light here in this bed frame. Your views are to the east, so East River, Queens, the Atlantic Ocean. A fun fact, you can actually see on a clear day 50 miles in any direction, so you can actually see the ocean from this bedroom. On this far wall, we have all these inlaid custom shelves. Below us on the floor is chestnut, and now this is a Jack and Jill bathroom which connects the two spaces. The whole entirety of this bathroom has that Tawada Tough Stone on the walls. Front and center, you have your soaking tub with your Dornbach fixtures coming out of the floor here, overlooking to the east with the East River Atlantic Ocean. We have floating vanities with Corian on the countertops, that floating vanity mirror with the lighting built into that Tawada Tough Stone. Behind me, we have the water closet. And then here, I'm gonna actually walk in, we have your Steam shower with that Tawada Tough Stone. Like I mentioned, this turns a vivid turquoise color when it gets wet. We're not gonna turn it on right now, but just use your imagination. So heading out of this Jack and Jill bathroom, we now enter the second bedroom. You can see it's a mirror image of that first one with that custom built-in on that far wall. Queen size bed, another built-in desk here. And I just wanna show this so these all pocket in so you can close off that bathroom. This would be the guest room or say the kids room. You have your closet off to the right, another built-in closet along this far wall. So leaving the second guest bedroom towards the end of this hallway, this is guest bedroom number three. More of that custom built-in shelving here. Off to my right, this is your corner bedroom moment with views to the east and these views to the south where you are straight on Park Avenue looking all the way up to Harlem with that view of Central Park. The leaves are just starting to change, so you're gonna have that show of all the colors. You can see the reservoir up to the north, George Washington Bridge, all the way up into the Hudson Valley, Upper West Side. You can even see down into the Sheep's Meadow with people laying out there catching some sun. It's truly something else. You are in that rarefied air here in this apartment. But all the furniture is the same, built-in bed, built-in desk here. Out of the bedroom, I wanna show you this. Check out this bathroom. This isn't even the primary bathroom. Welcome to the third bedroom bathroom here in this $135 million apartment with this view of Central Park. Could you imagine being in this soaking tub, just looking out over those northern views of New York City? 
It's truly a glimpse of something that the 0.0001% of humans will ever see. And we're sharing with you guys here on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe. But with that, again, as far as the finishes, Tawada Tough Stone of the entirety here on the floor, the walls, water closet off to the corner, your standing steam shower, glass enclosed, vanity, all same materials here with the floating mirror, some built-in shelving, but just the moment is this bathtub. Like, come on now. Come on, look at that. There's still more to see. We haven't even seen the, uh, the primary. From guest bedroom number three, we're back into that connecting hallway with that ceramic on the floor. Off to the right here, this is guest bedroom number four, which is currently staged as a composing room. Talk about inspiration. 10 by 10 window with that view looking prime up Park Avenue, Central Park, essentially the same view as those other guest bedrooms, but here it's been utilized, like I mentioned, as a composing room. The owners were saying how this used to be their yoga studio. This is a, it's a very creative space. Just with those views of the city, it's very awe-inspiring. You have this couch in this nice corner here. I wanna mention again, all the furniture has been customly built for this space. I mentioned this is the fourth bedroom, so you have that ensuite bathroom if you did choose to use this as a bedroom. Back onto the hallway, we're showing everything. This is the utilities area, so you have your rubbish chute here, connecting elevator. Out of the rubbish room, keep this shut. In front of me, this entire hallway is dedicated to the owner of this apartment. And here you have one slab of Corian, which closes into that wall, so you can entirely shut off this hallway, which is dedicated to the owner of this space. Off to my right, we're gonna show this before we show the bedroom. This is the dual owner's bathroom, so you have a bathroom off to the left and to the right. We're gonna go right first. You have this dual paned glass door, which slides on open. Brass fixtures, brass around the frame of this door, entering into the first of the owner's bathroom. Below me, we have that Tawada Tough Stone. We have even this custom piece of furniture just right in your bathroom. The vanity, we have more of that cypress wood with those hand cut pieces hiding that stainless steel drain. Dornbach fixtures built into the cypress wood. Three piece vanity mirror with the built in lighting. Even the ceiling has that hand cut cypress wood. But I want to point this out we have this large pane of glass breaking up the water closet area from your walk-in shower with two oversized Komatsu stones bringing that energy from Japan into your New York City penthouse. Tawada Tough Stone here on the backsplash and if you look above me we have this cylinder rainfall head shower. Could you imagine? I'm so tempted to just take the suit off and test this guy out but we're not gonna do that and of course you have your 10 by 10 window here with that Tawada Tough Stone on the ledge here for sitting down and looking at your views of Central Park. Yeah, this is a bathroom. This is only the first half. So if we leave this bathroom back into the hallway, we'll keep the door shut. We have bathroom number two in front of us. This is your closet with the brass railings, that inlaid LED lighting here with that cedar. Below us, we have cedar on the floors again. That transition from the wood to these Kyoto pavers, it's a very grounding feeling to be 79 stories up, just over a thousand feet, and be looking down at that open face bedrock in Central Park. So it's a bit of Central Park here in your bathroom. I think that's just, it's so unique. You have your Dornbach fixture coming out of this Kyoto train station paving stones. Even note how wide the grout lines are in these stones. This was all shipped in from Japan. Towel rack here with that Tawada Tough Stone. Your Toto state-of-the-art toilet that costs just about $8,000, which will scrub, heat, massage, and spray your goods down below. Tawada Tough Stone on the walls here. And you have your walk-in steam shower with this oversized stainless steel rainfall shower head. Yeah, this is a, I mean, it's just, it's so over the top. And we haven't even seen the owner's bedroom, so let's um, head on out of here. Back out into the hallway, and these ceramic tiles, they're very soft on your feet. That's not something you would expect. But in front of me, through this frosted glass here, we have the pocket door. Welcome to your owner's bedroom here in your $135 million apartment. I'm actually gonna take these slippers off because these are actually chestnut floors which have been hand scooped which actually almost massage your feet as you walk throughout the space it's a very cool feeling you have of course your views to the west hudson river billionaires row central park this is the corner bedroom so you also have those northern views as well you have your king size bed built right in here again all this furniture was custom built for this space you have your home office nicely built in outlets again built right into this wood 
this brass shelving overhead couch moment here to sit and just take in the views. Let's just keep on walking and talking out of the owner's room. You even have, I, I didn't point that out, the frosted glasses on the ceiling. And through this pocket door, we are now back to where we started, the welcoming tea room in this one of a kind apartment. I've showed you this place. We're now gonna sit down with the listing agent and pick her mind about what makes this place so special. She's been selling real estate for 40 years and this is the pinnacle of what she's ever sold. Well, first of all, Eric, welcome to the floating inner garden at 432 Park Avenue on the 79th floor. When you come into this well-lit, quiet space, you feel like you're floating. You feel like you're floating above New York City. And that was the intent of Hiroshi. And he designed the entire apartment uh, from the floor to the ceiling, the furniture, the art, everything in it. Manhattan is like a ship and it's sort of shaped like a ship. And he thought of this as going through time, like a ship that's just passing on the ocean, going through time. That is an eloquent description of this place, wow. I mean, you are a New Yorker and you know this city in all facets. It can be so many things and I think that the main thing that sticks out to me is the, the control of energy, whereas you're not bombarded by anything here. You can Absolutely kind of step back true. and just take everything in. Absolutely true. The, the apartment has nothing that attacks your senses. Your senses are calm, and that's the Japanese aesthetic. When you walk into a home, you transition from the outside to your home inside, and there are many aspects of this apartment, which you'll see, uh, that help you do that. One of them is the bridge from you, when you come in the front door that transitions you to the apartment, to the inner part of the apartment. And the first thing you see when you come into the apartment is the tea room, which is meant as a place where you sit down, have some tea and relax. And that's the way you come home. It's great. I also love how you do have those elements of nature in here. You know, you have the view of Central Park, but you also have 65 year old bonsai trees. You have the stones. It, it's such a unique mix of all those elements with that urban atmosphere out there. Most of everything in the apartment, the materials were imported from Japan. Big ships filled with stones and big stones that are 10 feet high. And uh, the wood, the wood that we're standing on is a thousand years old. It's a thousand year old cedar. In your years of selling, have you seen a place that is similar to this or is this, this is the pinnacle? I have never seen any other apartment in New York in 40 years that I'm doing this. You heard it here. If you are out there and you are looking to purchase this apartment, all the information is down below in the description of this video. Again, thank you. Eric, thanks. For letting us tour this space. Of course. And with that, we will see you in the next episode.